Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's see where we need to go next. We looked at the memorial, so we're going back in. Not quite sure what the goal was. Wasn't there like a log file I could look at? Um, check bag. Log? No. There's a button that I always accidentally press, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> Let me look at the roof thing again, just in case. Bunch of letters engraved in the stone's smooth surface. On one end, in large letters, it reads... Ah! Momoi Department Store Fife of Fire Victim Memorial. Apparently, this is a memorial for the victims of the Momoi department store fire. After a paragraph consoling the dead, there is a list of names. Going down the list, some of the names look familiar. Kenji Okayama and Momotaro Okayama. She actually called her son Momotaro? Wow. This is Killer Peach. Killer Peach's Tomoko Okayama's husband and son. Okayama had been trying to discover the truth behind the fire that killed her family, and she was killed for it. Oh! As I keep reading, my eyes snag on a group of names. Their last name. Saburo Oe, Hiroko Oe, and Yuki Oe. Wait, Oe? This Oe is on the list. They aren't. Yeah, it's just what you think. My parents and my little brother. What the fuck? Oh no! If their names are here, then they died in the department store fire 10 years ago? Yep, that's right. They went to the Momoi department store before Christmas to buy my little brother a present. I'd made plans to play at a friend's house, so I didn't go with them. Thanks to that, I was saved. Then is that why you're so rash when it comes to the Moon Tower case? Pretty much. I knew Diet Woman Okayama was chasing the truth behind the fire. And that the president of Sumi, Noboru Ishimaru, was keeping a close eye on her. Then Okayama up and vanished. The Sumi folks had to be behind it. Though I could learn, thought I could learn something by investigating them under the guise of the Killer Peach case. Ah. Never expected Okayama to be the Killer Peach. She quirks a weary smile. No surprise, this case took a left turn far outside the jurisdiction of regular t detectives. Both Okayama and I lost family in that fire, so I understand Killer Peach's grudge. But I'm a member of the police. I can't accept her approach. I need to stop her, no matter what. I want to pursue the truth using just means in her place. Just means. Just means, huh? You do realize this investigation of yours is totally illegal, right? Could be in fussy. I saw Oe get cut down by Killer Peach. Her recklessness back then pissed me off, but when I think about how she'd likely be com been comparing herself to Killer Peach, I guess it was only natural. By the way, how about this memorial? Why is this one spot scratched out? Oh, <gasps> Bibi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> he moved the microphone. You want to sit down? Oh. Hi, baby. Okay. Um, one appears to be scratched out. Oh, that. Probably some nasty prank or something. One day it was just suddenly like that. Whose name was there? No clue. The report only mentioned that there were 25 people. There was no personal info on them. Huh. The fire resulted in 25 victims, including the one scratched out. The report said the cause of the fire was arson, and the victims had been connected by chains. What the hell happened 10 years ago? And how did it connect to Demon Tsukuyomi? I'll just have to go back into the past to find out. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're done here, so let's get going. We're headed to Momoi department store. We'll take the special elevator on the first floor. Right. Yeah, and then we get there again, probably. But this time, there's no Killer Peach, right? Victim's name, victim names engraved on the memorial, 24 people. Last name Okayama, Oe as well. Parents and younger brother. Empty spot for one name seems to be scraped off. 
Cause of the fire covered up did Okayama know? <laughs> Baby, he's so cute. Okay. 24 victims. Let's go back down. Oh no, flashlight stopped working. That's always a really bad sign in these games. What's up? Punch the button, but the elevator's not responding. Oh, in this case, it's the sound of the elevator. Tap the button over and over, but the door still won't open. The elevator isn't even coming. Let me see, maybe you pushed it wrong. Of course not. He tries pushing the button itself, but... Himself? Oh, himself. But it still doesn't respond. Oh, what is it? Symbols are clanging together somewhere. Mixed in is what sounds like faint clockwork? What are you screeching like a baby for? This is how the next boss of the Amanomes is like. They're in for a world of trouble. It's not my fault. Guess no snappy comeback from him. Guess I better find the source of the sound. I think it's coming from over there. Ah! Whoa. Hey, would you keep it down? What do you do if security catches wind of us? <laughs> I thought you convinced them. Rather avoid as much trouble as we can. Who knows what'll happen? Good point. Now get rid of the fucking monkey! It's as if nothing had just happened. I grabbed the gorilla toy off the floor. Oh god, that was loud. So now can we leave? <laughs> This little kitty cat. Hi. Uh, let's go to one and then we'll switch elevators. Out of nowhere, there's a loud noise and shaking. Just as suddenly as it starts, it stops. All the lights go out. Did it break? So much stuff happening. Did it really break on us? It's all back on now. Guess it wasn't broken. Faulty wiring, I guess. Gabu over there. Something behind us? I look over where he's pointing. <gasps> Another toy! A rabbit plushie hangs from the ceiling. I don't remember seeing it earlier. Let's grab it. That wasn't there when we got on, right? Probably just fell from the ceiling when we stopped so suddenly. Amanome's slack-jawed shock. Amanome is in slack-jawed shock, but I ignore him. I yanked the toy down as if nothing happened. Okay. Hanged rabbit. Someone's enjoying himself. Okay, we're on the first floor. <gasps> Another one. As we step out into the hall, a girl's laughter suddenly echoes down it. Laughter now too, huh? What in the world is going on in this building? Was that doll here before? Hell nah, I wasn't. I see an old, worn little doll. No. I slowly shake my head. All these supernatural things happening one after another is really creepy. Damn it. Muttering under my breath, I stomp over and pick up the creepy laughing doll. This shit's loud, man. I need to... Give me a sec. I need to switch the audio. It's not mine. Nope, not mine either. Which means... Looks like it's me. Excuse me for a sec. It's me. Oi. Ah, oh, Bun. Hey there. Yeah, so you got Okayama's belongings, okay? Good thing Ishimaru didn't get his hands on him. She stepped away, but she's so loud I can hear what's going on. If you find an, a notebook or a diary, look through every last bit of it. Maybe we'll figure out why Ishimaru and Sumi covered up that fire. Alright, I'll let you get to it. Get to it. So that's what's going on. I had Bon and Rose go check it out for me. We'll get a call if there's any development. Alright, let's get on that special elevator. Do we still have the fingerprint? A lot happened, but we better go see this demon Tsukiyomi thing. Can we use the elevator? I got this. I already reached out to the higher-ups. My fingerprint should be added by now. Oh! 
Then it's just whether it'll send us to the past or not. Won't know until we try. She presses her finger to the scanner. Time to save. Uh, this one. <laughs> Time for BB to turn around. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Forty-four, here we go. They're riding the elevator for a while. It, sh it shakes violently. There it is again. Such an annoying sound. Also, I really don't like the white light. Freakish scream pierces my ears like it's rising from the depths of the heaven earth. Ugh. What was that? An earthquake? Was that an earthquake? What the heck was that voice? It really doesn't sound like a voice to me. That earthquake and the voice. I recall what happened at Moon Tower before. This happened the last time I went to the past too. Hmm. So then you're saying we have arrived at... Dun dun dun. Yes, most likely. The mysterious phenomenon stops. The elevator starts moving again and when it stops it lets us out on an unknown floor. I forgot to grab something to drink. When a door is open and I step out... Ah, so familiar by now. Guess it still works. We are really in the past right now? You sure this isn't the present? What's got you so freaked, Squirt? Moon Tower ain't, no, ain't got no shopping ar area. No way, we're seriously back in the past. But if this is the past, there's a problem. Oh, I was killed by Killer Peach. What's the matter? You're not one to stand around thinking. Time to explain that I've been here twice before on my last investigation, and both times oh, I died. You're saying it might happen again? Worrying about maybe this won't get us anywhere. Who knows if the demon appears if the demon will appear unless we look. Let's go see. Speaking of, I have a question before we proceed. Just what is that red thing on the floor? Flares? It was there the last time I was here too. Yep. That was mentioned in the report. So this flare was used in the incident? But what for? If you want to burn something, all you need is gasoline and a spark, right? The theory in the report said that the culprit first caused a fake fire with flares. Then they guided all the panicking customers somewhere they could detain them. Ah. Crafty asshole. Okay. For some reason there's a puddle on the floor. Yeah, the water. I look around to see if I can find anything, but there's nothing interesting. Okay. Um, let me quickly get some water. I'll save and get some water. This is all the same probably, right? Christmas tree. Looks like it would be been looks like it had been right around Christmas when the tragedy happened. Wait, maybe I should double check it. Okay. That's the TV again that we used before. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay. Kurisumasu! Sale. Christmas sale. Well, let's get move on then. Get a move on. My English is a mess today, Jesus Christ. I sense a presence in the dark. Spinning the flashlight around towards it reveals... Nothing. <gasps> Wait! They're still there? Killer Peach lying in wait for me. Wait just a second, that's Killer Peach, isn't it? I thought you defeated her, Gabu. Time's been turned back. Oh god. Killer Peach vanished, but the strange phenomenon hasn't stopped. So it's not her doing after all. I'll think on that later. Right now I gotta do something about her. Killer Peach sways as she walks towards me. Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? There's no way I can use the same method that I did last time. I don't have the tools. I gotta think of another way. I know the truth about her grudge now. 
I'll need to let her know that somehow, but if I say something wrong, she'll cut me down. Here we go. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da da. Uh, show the fire report? We don't have it, do we? Oh, we do. Hey, look. This is the fire report from Momoe Department Store. I thrust the report out in front of me and Killer Peach slows. It may be me imagining it, but it seems like she's not sure what to do. Why do you have that? All of her eyes swivel to focus on me. Her stare pierces me to my bones. It's clear she'll see through any lie. Uh, found it in your belongings. Ah, oh, but that's what we did. She had it on her, didn't she? That's what I thought happened. Never mind then. Man, I didn't expect to see her again. Killer Peach's words are the last coherent thing I hear before everything quickly fades away. Let's try again. Okay. Because I defeated you in a battle of wits. You defeated me. I did. God, my ears so itchy. Ah. I feel like these inner ear things just make my ears more itchy than they usually are. Okay. I defeated you and that's how I got this report. I'm using it to investigate the truth behind the, the department store fire. Investigating the truth, that's what you did when you were alive. You didn't just want revenge on Sumi. You wanted to know the truth behind the fire that killed your family, no matter what, right? Investigating the truth. There is no falsehood in those words. I meant every word. Oh. Is she gonna help us? After a long moment of breathless silence. Oh. With a cry, Killer Peach vanishes. She said, Skuttekure. So save them. Or save me, but that doesn't really make sense. I don't know how we survived that, but we did. How are you so calm? I nearly threw up. I was so worried we'd die. Oh, something's over there. The katana killer peach uses used lies on the ground. Wait, the katana? Oh! The katana Killer Peach used lies on the ground at the spot where she disappeared. Nice. So the sword, that means she's leaving the rest up to you? How should I know? Well, with things the way they are, it may come in handy. I'll pretend I didn't see you take an illegal weapon for now. Hand it over when we leave, though. Whatever, I'm not planning on getting much future use with it. Now let's investigate, I guess. New area. Toy and doll in the elevator hall, plushy inside elevator. Killer Peach again. I thought I defeated her. Was I entrusted with everything? Let's see what we have over here. Mannequin, going by its size, must be for kids. Soaked and scalded by the fire, but still managed to keep their shape somehow. There's nothing worthwhile here. More water. Surprisingly big puddle. Most of the surrounding products are soaking wet. A bunch of different products are on display. A bunch of cute plushies. But these must be toys marketed to girls. Like boys can't have cute things. A lot of toys on display. Mar marketed to little boys. Well, looks like that's it. Let's go to the back. There are the chains. 
We step out into a white, wide burnt area. Looks like the fire was the worst here. Walls, floors, ceiling, everything's charred pitch black. According to the report, this children's plaza was where the fire started. It used to be a play area with equipment. There are chains on the ground. Is this where the demon Tsukiyomi ritual happened? Probably. Everything points to it. But that's also if it was even done at all. Hmm. Most definitely. <gasps> Ask Santa for my Christmas presents. Promise? I'm waiting. We have a couple presents. Again? Damn it, could they cut it out already? How many supernatural things does that make now? I've lost track. Well, just ignore it. Let's look around. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. All the people are there. I shine the flashlight on the floor and several burnt corpses come into view. Oh, and they're gone again. The corpses. No way, they were just there. It's hard to believe. The corpses that had been so vividly real for a second ago vanished without a trace. Maybe the victim's grudge is so strong that they showed that to us. There's a black stain of some kind where one of the corpses had been. I move closer and reach out towards it. Oh, blood? My ears are buzzing loud enough that I'm getting vertigo. Must be blood of the victims. Well, you know what to do then. I slowly reach out with my fingers to the black and blood stain on the floor. Holy shit. <laughs> what in the world are you thinking? What will this even accomplish? It's not too late to... <gasps> he has the curse! Shut up, idiot. This is the most important part. This is his way of getting rid of the curse. It's the department store before it was burned. Something is off. A man with a cigarette hanging from his mouth looks down at several adults chained together. On his arms are something familiar look are some familiar looking mouths. Between him and the adults is a kid. It looks like he's soaked in something. Plastic container on the floor makes it pretty obvious what that something is. Masaru. What are you do go what are you going to do with Masaru? So this kid's name's Masaru, huh? That's my name too. Maybe that'll make mom happy. You asshole! So those are Oi's parents? The man with the scarf tries to jump forward, but two others grab onto him. Don't move! He'll kill, he'll kill us too! Just endure it. I don't want to die. Let me go, Masaru. Papa! Mama! Help me! Oh, Masaru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we get started? Mom's waiting, after all. I think I'll start with this kid. He plucks a cigarette from his mouth and turns the fiery tip, fiery tip towards the kid. Holy shit! <laughs> Cry loudly for me. For demon Tsukiyomi's sake. <laughs> Holy shit. Demon Tsukiyomi, please come here. Demon Tsukiyomi, please grant my wish. Please, my mom. So he wanted to wish something for his mom. Damn, I feel sick. You're scowling, Gabu. Did you see something? I tell Amanoma and Oi about the tragedy that happened here. Demon Tsukiyomi ritual sacrificing a bunch of families. The man laughing horribly as he did it. I can barely even say the words. And that's always family, too. Then the demon Tsukiyomi ritual was what he was really after, huh? Looks like it, yeah. 
The granted wish needs to be proportional to the value of the burnt object. So he burned living humans. Gabu, you said the arsonist was a man, yeah? Yeah, in his 30s maybe. Said his name was Masaru. And he had mouths on his arm. Mouths? It's Kakia's curse. Better explain. I tell her about the horrifying mouths that appear on me and unnuts me. In other words, the arsonist might have been caught up in Kakia's game. Most likely. Ah! Oh, it's progressing! His mouth looks so much grosser. Countless mouths surface and begin crudely laughing. Almost the finale of the tale. Demon Tsukiyomi, please grant my wish. Even worse than the mouth are just the random teeth sticking out of the skin. Ugh. Is the curse progressing? Yeah. Not good. Yabaizo. He falls silent, thinking about something. What's gotten into you? The curse won't stop until you defeat the spirit. Yeah. Then what we need to do is find it, yeah? Yeah. Then it's time to throw the chips all in. We're calling Demon Tsukiyomi. So you're saying we gotta perform the ritual? Exactly. That's our only choice? I feel like it would show up if we look around more, but... There's no other way to escape the curse other than doing something about the demon Tsukuyomi. Time is running out. I gotta take a gamble. It's like I'm tightrope walking over a chasm. Actually, I'm always being backed up to the edge of a cliff. We can summon demon Tsukuyomi if we have changed, two hand mirrors, and something to burn. We already have the chains here, so we just need mirrors and a fire starter. I should have brought that compact mirror. Oh, yeah, you're a working professional. Do you have a hand mirror? Don't look at me. Sorry. I battle with my wits, not my looks. I battle with my wits. You're kidding. What about something to start a fire? I don't smoke, but I have a lighter on me. We just need something to burn, then. Nothing for it. I'll have to look around. The toys! What's this song? I can barely make it out, but it sounds like Jingle Bells. Definitely is. This song was playing in the vision I saw. <laughs> Got a vision of the scene of the fire, like everyone thought it was arson. The demon Tsukiyomi ritual performed with victims as a sacrifice. This is Momoi, the site of the fire. Saw a ghost of a victim. How to replicate the ritual, ritual, chains, object to burn, what about the mirrors? They might be lying around though. Okay. Guess that just shows how strong the grudge of those who died here is. Blackened chains on the floor. Must have used these to make sure the hostages didn't escape. The victims were wrapped in chains. Gas was poured on them and then they were set on fire. Some grand ritual, sacrificing innocence just for his own ego. The venom in a word stops my tongue. Maybe I can learn something if I touch the chains. Might see more if there's blood on them. I'll take all the information I can get. Ha! Huh. The instant I touch them, my hand is scalded by scaring heat. searing heat. I quickly yank my hand back. What's wrong? The chains are still hot. The links look normal, cool metal. Chains don't look, at don't look hot at all, but I definitely felt heat when I touched them. Oh! Clearly not believing me, Amanome reaches out to touch the chain and gets burned. That's really hot. Okay, so we can't touch those. Not directly. A hole in the floor with water in it. Probably filled up when the sprinklers went off. It's clear enough water that the ceiling is reflected in it. I love the music playing. Burnt bench. If you go by the state of this bench, the fire was really bad. I look around the area and find a gun on the floor. This gun. I think it's the one the arsonist had. Find something? Found the gun the arsonist had. What? Pick up the gun from under the bench and show it to her. 
Looks like it still works. Yeah. What will you do with it? Reserve it as evidence? Nah. If the thing still works, it might come in handy when we're fighting the spirit. I doubt a gun will work on a spirit. Don't know till you try. Worked before in Deathmark. Anyway, we'll get better evidence from Tomoko Okayama's house. Okay. I'll take it once we get out of here, out of this alive. So don't go losing it now. If worse comes to worse, uh, you'll turn a blind eye to me shooting this, right? Depends on how I'm feeling at the time. <laughs> hey! Okay. Shotgun? Oh jeez, not even a handgun or anything. Wait, let me look again. Don't see anything useful. Okay. What's that? Vending machine. Sprinklers rusted it too, so the thing's barely recognizable. I checked the pickup slot and huh, something's there and it's surprisingly not burnt. Oh, card. I lower my gaze to the writing on the card. Congratulations for surviving all of Kakia's games. You're exactly what I envisioned. Color me impressed. I've watched your tri triumphs from the sidelines and I'm sorting all the info so far. First is Kakia. I wonder if she can't pronounce Gu. I can't pronounce the goo part of her name because she's a little girl. Let's, let's refer to her as the Kaguya doll. Uh, okay. This cursed girl was sealed in the mirror of the prestigious Mido Midoku family. The seal weakened every 10 years and she could leave the realm of the dead for the present world. The ritual to seal her again was called Nagoshinogi, the same ritual which killed those little girl, I, girls, I believe. But Kaguya isn't in the mirror. I suspect the ritual failed at some point. Now the game. You've experienced these games of death. For you, the game ends if you survive a spirit encounter. How you survive was up to you, and when the spirit was gone, the cycle repeated until your death or she got bored. But the purpose of these games wasn't to kill you. She only wanted a playmate, like a child wanting attention. Being a spirit without knowledge of love, she must have thought that was play. Who knows how she got the other spirits to listen, perhaps magic similar to necromancy. I assume her way of hosting was to make them like fairy tales. A doll spirit that embodies the grudge of death. I have to say, Kaguya's game is very fitting. It doesn't appropriate, but it doesn't appropriately reflect your efforts. This is an era where even Kaguya uses a phrase like NG. We could call it necro game among ourselves. Oh, is that what it stands for? Though you likely couldn't care less about the name. My apologies. At any rate, you survived NG and saved your sister. I wish you a happily ever after. I wonder why Kaguya was obsessed with you. Man. Okay. How the hell did Demon hide a card here? I thought for an thoughts for another time. Right now, I gotta take care of Demon Tsukiyomi. Remainder of something kids can ride. Ah, charred within an inch of its life and unrecognizable. Okay. Is that it? Oh no. Puddle that was probably made when the sprinklers went off. The water in it is so cloudy I can't even see my reflection. Okay. Now we've gone full circle. That's it. Floor is crumbling from the heat of the fire. The burnt floor is in a pathetic state. There's piles of ash everywhere. Hmm. Okay, um, maybe save that? I'm not sure. And now go back, see what happens. Nothing apparently. Still just water and stuff. Wonder if it'll let us leave. Can't go back now, I need to keep investigating the department store. Okay. Well, that answers that question. Now I just need to find where to put the Christmas presents, maybe? Every puddle so far. Oh. The water is a reflection. Every puddle so far is talking about reflection. Ah. So we need we only need one mirror. We don't need two mirrors. 
clear enough water that the ceiling is reflected in it. Okay, so can I... Do I have a mirror on me? Maybe the reflection of the katana. I stare at the katana in my hand. I can't think of a way to use it right now. Guess not. Was a good idea, right? Better check the display toys. Just had to examine it again. Could probably use this for the ritual. Slightly burnt hand mirror. Okay. Let me examine some other things again, just in case. Shows me a stick he found among the products on display. Who knows? The tips melted might come in handy. Hmm. Melted stick. <laughs> That's random. Most are wet to the touch. So wet that I kind of don't want to shove any of them in my bag. Something red between a few of the animals. I grab it. What's a flare doing here? It was between soaked plushies and it's also wet, making it unusable. But it's definitely a flare like the ones on the floor by the elevator. Could have used that if it wasn't wet. Yeah. Sighing, I put it back. Okay. What about this one? You think you could use these gloves? For what? How should I know? Touch the chain. <laughs> Every time I'm in a pinch. Okay, that's a good idea. For the chains. Rider gloves. Find a toy robot nearby that still looks normal. Normal enough, anyway. Burnt robot. What are you gonna use that for? I don't know. When does your brain ever work? <laughs> when it needs to. Here's hoping. Look around a bit more, but everything else is burnt beyond recognition. Okay. I guess that gives me the stuff I need. Save again. This is, I think, a good point to save, because if I need to go back and grab other items, I can. Okay, now I want to use the mirror on this puddle. I take out the burnt hand mirror, but I can't think- Oh, really? The water's reflection, dude! Uh, touch these with the gloves. Take out the writer gloves. How am I supposed to use this? I feel like I'm so close to everything, but I can't figure it out. We could use flares for the ritual, but these are too wet to use. They're rolling everywhere, so let's see if any still work. Sure. I check each flare on the ground to see if they can be used for the fire needed for the ritual. Find any good ones? Nope, they've all been used. Oh well. Hmm. Oh! It's so... Uh, I hate that you have to click on everything multiple times. I couldn't find anything to burn. If you could just use that flare. We just need the gunpowder inside. I found a flare by that spot where you found that stick toy. It can't be used, but it was laying around in such an off place. Maybe there will be more in other spots. True. Some might even be usable. One ain't gonna be enough. We'll need a bunch of them. Got it. Guess I'll go back and double check where I've already looked. We were already doing that though. Okay, let's look everywhere again. How about that? I found one that looks usable. One flare. Why are there flares all over? Beats me. Probably left by the arsonist. There's no way to understand people like that. Now keep looking. Once we call the demon, the truth will come to light. You okay? You okay? Well, we got one. A flare in the pot. It's like, come on, Drew, we looked here already. You should have found that the first time. Nice work. Keep looking. Uh, I bet there's nothing around the TV, but... Okay, I think that was here. Aren't on, but they're buzzing like some, there's still some juice going through them. 
We might be able to use that to light the... F oh, what is that? What is standing in the back there? That wasn't there before. <sighs> Creepy. I check all around the mannequin. You find anything? Nope. Oh. I found one over here. There is one. Good. I don't know how many I need. Keep looking. Again here. Want to take another look? Yeah, there might be spots that aren't wet. We search every nook and cranny for a spot that's dry. There's a dry patch behind some of the plushies. Push an animal aside and see one with a big hole on its back. A red tube pokes out of it. Huh. Found one that looks like it still works. Wait, what if the dude was instructed to do it like this because of the game? Maybe he had to hide them so we would find them years later. Or not years later, we're in the past. Bunch of toys. All buried, burned beyond recognition. Okay. Looks like that might be it. With them off, the whole pace is dark and gloomy. That's true. You want to look everywhere here as well? Three flares around it. Wow. Pick up each one and check if it can be used. Two out of three are too burnt, but the last one seems like it could still work. At least it wasn't a total bust. Found one. Hey, nice work. Keep looking. Okay. Oh, I guess not. How many does that make? Count the flares in my bag. Five? Yeah, five. Some are kind of damp, but we only need the gunpowder inside them. With a flame, they'll dry right up and ignite. I guess I'll start preparing the ritual then. What's this? Oh, it's time! We're counting down now! The tale has reached a happily ever after. The Yomi Demon Tsukuyomi. Oh. The Demon Tsukuyomi. Don't open. Please grant my wish. Ah. Oh. Okay. Don't open? All that's left to do is the ritual, call Demon Tsukuyomi, and defeat it. Nothing here to get in the way, plus there's plenty of open space. Should be good for the ritual. Okay. So, are we just gonna burn the toys? What do you want to put down? We need to use the gl the the flare here. Break down the flares and leave just the gunpowder on the floor. Oh, that's what we're doing. We'll need multiples so it burns longer. Exactly. Take out the flares and tear them apart. I'll help you. It's way too much effort, but at least it's worth it. We managed to gather quite a bit of gunpowder. Should be plenty now. Hurry and get the other stuff ready. Um... So the chains? I pull the rider gloves out of my bag and put them on. Hesitantly, I touch the chains. How is it? They're not hot. I can carry them this way. I maneuver the chains into a circle. Is this okay? It looks exactly the same. Okay, the chains are ready now. So what else did it want us to do? We need to burn things, right? Okay, we're actually really close to the demon. We're just gonna use the mirror and it's gonna arrive. I felt that was so smart with the katana reflection, but I guess we just use the mirror. I take the burnt hand mirror from my bag and try holding it up to the puddle. The puddle's reflected in the mirror and the mirror is reflected in the puddle. That should work for joining mirrors part. Okay. 
That should be it. I'm ready for the ritual. All I need to do is say the magic words. What should I wish for? Lifting your curse is probably a good idea. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> Time to light the gunpowder from the flares. Once it's burning, I close my eyes. Demon Tsukiyomi, please come here. Oide? Making a silent wish for the curse on me to be released. I call forth the demon Tsukiyomi. He's like, again? This happens every time. Every ten years, some kind of kid comes by and wishes for me to take off the curse. What feels like an eternity of silence passes. Suddenly the room darkens and I feel cold. Everything is enveloped in a strange stillness. Almost like I'm the only person in the whole world. As that feeling settle settles over me. Mm. Holy shit. It's just a mass of eyeballs and people. A small clump of flesh appears out of thin air. You call that small? Where it lumps grow rapidly all over until it's suddenly a huge mass of, mass of, mass of flesh. This is the demon Tsukiyomi. Completely disgusting. My whole body shudders. I can't say I expected this. Run home to mommy if you're scared. Jeez, dude. That's harsh. Like hell I will. Can't leave you alone after coming this far. Then know you're stuck with me until it's over. Okay, I am definitely uh, keeping a guide open for this fight, by the way. Some kind of dark surge attacks me. It roils like burning hatred. What am I supposed to do? Grant. Grant a wish? But what wish am I supposed to grant? I wanna... I was super excited for it. Wait, are these the corpses? The burning corpses of the last time this uh, ritual was performed? So it's like the kids that want their toy? Do you understand? Don't you think the face that said that sounded like a little kid? Now that you mention it, the grant one sounded like an adult. Exactly. So a parent wanting to grant a kid's wish, something a kid wants from their parents. No clue what it would be though. One of the toys, I guess. We don't have anything else to go on. It's up to us to figure out the rest. Okay. Uh, each of the faces wants their own toy. Okay, so a parent wants to grant a kid's wish. If I can't grant that, then... Okay, let's see if we can examine the faces. So, one there, one there. Oh, it's a nose! Oh, I see a lot more faces now. Okay, so those four. Pew pew, boom bang. Okay, we can open our files. Uh, tools. Boom boom bang bang. The burnt robot says boom ratat. Sounds of weaponry. That should be it, right? Yeah. Yakata roboto. Burnt robot. No reaction at all. No idea if I've got it right or not. Why don't you just give something to all of them first? Okay. Top left. Mom, please. Grant my wish, mom? Wait. I'm gonna guess first. Jennifer, maybe. Ah. Might be the doll. Or the melted stick. Magical girl. Anime. Uh, no, she wants the laughing girl. Okay, no reaction again. Maybe I need to give things to all the faces first. I want Jennifer. Magical girl J. It said Jennifer on the laughing one, didn't it? Yeah, I made a mistake. Shit. 
Can I back up? Um, I need to reset. Well, I guess I might as well try see how far we can get. Big monkey. Ah, uh, this one should have had Jennifer. We'll give her the stick, but it's gonna be wrong. Given something to every face, all I can do now is wait for a reaction. That one's good. You did it! Too early to celebrate. So the two- the bottom ones are good, the robot and the gorilla. Yeah, the other one is not happy. Die, 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 are the voices saying. The parents' faces all angrily, angrily yell in agreement and the chorus joins with the wailing kids. The noise bursts my eardrums. I flinch, and it distracts me enough that I can't dodge the chains that fly at me. Chain pierces my heart, but damn. Instant death. Okay, that wasn't too exciting. I was hoping for a cool image, but... Okay, now I get that. Thanks, thanks. Okay. This isn't mom. Huh? Right when I thought we were in the clear, Demon Tsukiyomi goes berserk. Chains come flying at us. Wait, what? Shit. Did I die? You okay? Oh shit. Just barely. Oh, okay, I did get through it. I was like, wait, but I did the thing! Okay, we can't do anything when it's like this. Run. I make a break for it. I'm gonna oil on my heels. That was the first phase. Okay. Seems like that angry face was the only wrong one. So what do we do? Well, if we knew what it wanted. That's the one that was all mom this and mom that, yeah? Yeah. Oh, are we gonna fry it on the first scene? Because there's like the lights we can use, the power. Demon Tsukiyomi doesn't sound very far away. It must be chasing us. We better get out of here. Where can we go? Use the elevator to go back where we were. We'll figure out what, what it wants in the meantime. May as well. We have no choice. Whoa. What was that? Barreling into the elevator hall, I run straight to the door and press the button. It doesn't work. Of course not. Hurry up and open it. I pushed it, but it won't open. I jam my thumb on the button again and again, but the thing still doesn't open. Has it got up to us? No, I don't see it. Even when I do, it'll be far enough away that, I, that if we can get the door open. The pep talk is appreciated, but if we stay stuck like this, we'll be we'll be up shit creek. God damn it! Fine, if you're gonna be that way. Stupid door is pissing me off. I grip the edges and try to force it open. Don't we have, like, a crowbar or something? Oh, it jumps in to help me out. Oh, there it is. It fights us and we haven't made much progress before the demon Tsukiyomi appears. It's not very far away. No way. Shit, I was careless. Hurry it up, Gabu. At this rate, we're going to die. Oh, my eyes itchy. Uh. Open up! Terry gives me extra strength I need and the door cracks open. Yes! I slip my hands into the crack and force it open. Okay. I don't think this is the demon though. That grants the wishes. This is these are just the the souls of the people that died that day. Get inside! Amanome run, runs in, followed by Oi. Once I'm sure they made it, I slip inside too. That's cool. Close the door! 
Oh, it smashes the button on the panel. It's no use, the door won't close because it's caught on the demon Tsukiyomi. You giving up after we made it this far? Move! With a roar, I kick the demon with all my might. The heat burns the sole of my shoe, filling the elevator with the smell of burnt rubber. Damn! Spirit retreats just enough that the door manages to close. Is it just gonna open up on the same floor? Please do that. That would be awesome. Nicely done! We're going up? Seems so. I hope he can go back down. That's up to luck. At least we're safe for now. I don't know if I should say this, but kicking a spirit is such a you thing to do. Shut up! Oh, fuck. I was too, too quick. A gun, huh? Obviously not a real one. <laughs> Just a model gun with some slight modifications. Extremely slight. Oh ho, something to look forward to after we survive this. You can give me all the juicy details later. I'll ring you out to dry. Now I'm in for it. Give me a break, detective. Ah, we didn't make it out. The roof. Hmm. We rush out onto the terrace. Oh, that is awesome. What the hell is up with the moon? After we left the department store, we should be back at Moon Tower. Did the demon do this? Damn, we won't get away that easily, huh? If the demon's got control of this place, then it'll probably be here soon enough. What will we do? Can't just poof ideas out of thin air, you know? We just gotta do something about that last face, right? Which face? The one that was all, this isn't mom, or whatever. All of the others seemed satisfied. What do they mean by saying they want their mom? Do we need to set up our lovely detective as a mom figure or something? I'm shit at acting. <laughs> oh, the phone works? Hey, that's me. She pulls her phone from her pocket. It's fun. Maybe Okayama's thing revealed something. Hey, it's me. I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. You serious? He's on there too. Nah, it's nothing. Just talking to myself. There's something else. I gotta go. We got our hands full at the moment. If there's nothing else. We'll talk more later. Bye. I can't believe it. You seem excessively shocked or something. Get, so get some amazing info? It's a doozy. Remember the name that was scratched off that memorial there? That name was Masaru Ishimaru. Ishimaru was the president of Sumi. Yep, and Masaru is no Noboru Ishimaru's second son. But that's not all. According to Okayama's notebook, Masaru Ishimaru was the one who caused the fire. So the son of the president. That's just Okayama's own conclusion after she conducted an investigation alone. The gun found at the scene couldn't have belonged to just any random schmuck. That's what caused her to be suspicious of Masaru. He was notorious for his violence and his habit of abducti abducting people. That's influence prevented him from ever getting arrested, though. So if he was the arsonist, then the one who sacrificed all of those people for the demon Tsukiyomi ritual was... Had to be him, Masaru Ishimaru. The thin man with the gun who I saw standing in the kids plaza during my vision. Must have been Masaru Ishimaru. Don't let his father off the hook, though. He knew that what his son liked to do, so he must have guessed who the arsonist was. And he still added his son's name to the list of the victims without even batting an eye. Counted as a victim, it's harder to investigate him. Plus it buys a whole lot of sympathy, too. So they're both pieces of shit. Yeah, complete garbage. Guess some th someone agreed because the name on the memorial was scratched out. If Ishimaru died in that fire, then he probably was, is a part of Demon Tsukiyomi too. Oh, he said it was for his mom. That means even in death, the victims are stuck with the guy who killed them. If we beat him, the victims should rest. The victims should rest in peace. But how do we do that? That's your department. So much for we. Before we beat him, we gotta find him. Well, he found us. What can we give him, though? For his mom. And we don't really want to purify him, do we? Because he's a bad dude. 
Uh, I found us. We only have one thing to do. Finish it here and now. Guys, help me, please. Uh, oh. Okay. Sure. Can we talk to all of them? Scene two. So... The guide is telling me what to do with the... Okay, so there are still four faces. Help me, mom. That is hot, so hot. I'm scared, mom. And... Mommy, mommy. Oh my god, how are you supposed to know? Uh, yeah, I think it says... Use Peach's katana on the top right one, so... I stared down at the katana in my hand. That blade's all we've got. The sword I got from Killer Peach should work against her mortal enemy, Masaru Ishimaru. Now to just figure out which one you're slashing. Sorry if I get it wrong. We'll die together then. Amanome's resolve bolsters my own determination, and I turn towards Demon Tsukiyomi. What's that sword? I point the sword at the demon, and it lets out a terrified yelp. You're Masaru Ishimaru. It's terrified, and it should be. It draws a smirk out of me, and I confidently heft the weapon. I dash forward, aiming at Ishimaru's face. No! Demon Tsukiyomi hurls countless of chains at me, the dangerous metal flying everywhere which way, every which way. Instincts blaring, my body senses the chain's direct tra trajectory, hard word. I dodge every last one of them. Die, Ishimaru! Once, once close enough, I push hard off the ground and jump high into the air. I slash the katana from bottom to top. Ishimaru flinches in fear, blood spurts everywhere, getting all over me. Oh, the blood. Wait. That was the... The writer's place. For a second, a familiar place flashes in view. I'm sure that's... Miroku. There's no time for that right now. I gotta do something about him. Blackened blood. Made it flinch and that's it. Guess physical attacks won't take it down. Any other ideas, Amanome? My only thought of how to destroy spiritual stuff is to use something supernatural or perform some kind of ritual. But we can't do that kind of stuff. Then all we have left to do is listen to his wish. Don't be stupid. There's no way in hell we grant his wish. What are we supposed to do? She bites your lips, lip, and, lip and falls silent. False silent. I'm sure she knows. But it's impossible to bring herself to allow it since the fire was how she lost her family. Out of nowhere, the spirit starts moaning. Carve. It's saying carve? I have no idea what that means. Maybe carve the name into the memorial? Do I really have to grant Masaru Ishimaru's wish? Time is running out. Whatever I do, my best chance is while it's still stunned. I say memorial. Let's see. Uh, use the murky blood on the stone monument. Okay, sure. So I was kind of right, but it wasn't exactly carving. Scene three! Last scene. Oh! The memorial. Was made to comfort the victims. To comfort them? Don't you think that's kind of like a magic ritual? Now that you mention it, yeah. What do we do? The thing is already built, so it's achieved its purpose. That's the problem. But if all goes well, Demon Tsukiyomi might rest in peace. Where's the blood? Blackened blood, that must be it. I touch the blackened blood staining my cheek. The darkened blood bl brings those words to mind suddenly. Carve. The blank spot on the memorial. 
What's the matter? Not exactly the best time to be mumbling. Nothing. Just thinking you might need to engrave something in that blank space on the memorial. Something? Oh! A name! Yeah, exactly. We need to add a name. But the problem is... Whose name? Yeah. Whose name should we engrave on the blank spot? Oh god, how do I read it? Okayama something, so it must be Tomoko? It has to be. I write a name with the blackened blood on my finger. Someone whose strong grudge made her a spirit. She should be listed as a victim too. Tomoko Okayama. Who is that? The name of a woman who lost her husband and child in the fire, you said. She was killed by her old man when she tried to reveal the truth behind the fire. So what? He doesn't even care. Was Killer Peach Okayama not the right name? It was! Maybe she'll come now. Someone I don't know inside me. What are you? What are you going to do to me? Justice is served. That's cool. Did it work? I've heard that voice somewhere before. The mythological Momotaro must have been guided by the name written on the memorial. Crossing time and space to exterminate evil. <laughs> no! I wonder what his wish was. That was Annihilation, though. I did do the right thing. I didn't go for the death route. I got for I went for the cure route, but the... Oh no. The achievement on Steam said Annihilation. A wind blows across the roof and the demon Tsukiyomi dissolves. Are those grateful cries from people mixed in with the sounds of the wind? <clears throat> I knew it. Mama really is Mama Momotaro. Child's voice pipes up from among them, proudly boasting about their mother. God, I hope no one else dies now. I followed the guide. The ominous scarlet moon vanishes and the sky reverts back to normal. The curse goes away. What's the other way to do it? The other way was the same... The same items to the faces, but then after that... You also use the katana on the top right face. But then on the memorial, you choose the name Ishimaru. Um... Oh, I see. So... Oh. So both both routes, so no matter what you choose, both routes are you get the same achievement for. Huh. So it's either choose Ishimaru or choose the mom's name, but they both lead to his annihilation. That makes sense. I take it your curse was lifted if your expression is anything to go by. Yeah, I guess I managed to survive again. Demon Tsukiyomi disappeared, but I didn't leave a but it didn't leave a pool of blood behind. Guess that makes sense. I already have am Ami. Speaking of blood, it's on your face! Blood flew out when I cut the demon with the katana. It was only a flash, but I saw a vision of the attic in the Miroku residence. Why did that place appear? Better check it out. I touch the blood on my clothes and concentrate. Cool, that's cool. Mmm! Holy shit! <laughs> nice work there. First thing I hear is a young man's voice. It's the arsonist, Masaru Ishimaru. That was captivating, truly. Guess going full criminal to kidnap a kid really was worth it after all. Masaru, I allowed you to watch, but if you continue to say things like that, I'll have to ask you to leave. So Miruku and Ishimaru were working together. The man in the white monk robes replied coldly. His voice sounds familiar too. 
It has to be Yakumo Miroku, the author who turned the girls into dolls. Don't be like that, old man. Without my pop sparrow, you'd be behind bars right about now. Yes, I'm extremely grateful to Noboru. It's entirely due to the Ishimaru family's cooperation that I'm able to fulfill my duty. That Nagashi no Gi ritual or whatever, right? Sounds like a mouthful. Why not shorten it to NG? Nagoshi no Gi. Right. Sounds like a name a child would choose. Masaru, please refrain from saying anything that draws the interest of the Kaguya doll. The seal is in the process of weakening. She may be listening at this very moment. Oh, now that's scary. You better hurry up and finish making her playmate. Hmm? What's this? Oh, hey, that thing. We found that. Oh, since I'm the last successor of the Miroku family, it's just junk now. I suppose you being a wrinkly old man means you're not interested in getting it on anymore. It would look that way to you. Ever since I lost the power of my hands in an accident, I've given up on ordinary happiness. I've given up on ordinary happiness. What do you mean by power of your hands? Each of my hands held a special power. The power to bestow was one of them. I would use it to bestow spiritual powers onto the into the doll and give it to her. Does that mean... Because you lost your power thing, that's why you're killing kids and making them into dolls? Up to you whether you believe me or not. I believe you. I love stories like that. Anyway, what about you, Masaru? What about me? Will you marry and have a happy family? Nobody would surely be pleased if you had a child. Hmm. Would mom be happy in heaven, too? You're still hung up on Yoko, hmm. Of course I am. Pops only shoves money at me. Mom actually loved me. She's my everything, even now, forever. I always want to relive the time when mom was around. I see. At Ishimaru's strange outburst, Miruko stops and frowns. It would be nice to go back to the past you long for. By the way, old man, you write scary fairy tales, right? So that means you're an expert on the occult? To some extent. What about it? I want to ask you something. Could you tell me about that demon Tsukiyomi thing? That was... The arsonist Ishimaru abducted girls and Yakumo Miroku turned them into dolls. It lines up with what was written in the Nagoshi no Gi book we found at the Black Rabbit. Plus, that strange doll Ishimaru grabbed. We have that. That was... That was the doll I picked up at the Miroku residence. So that's... that... we can use that for something, we just don't know how to use it yet. You look serious, Gabu. Did something happen? It's nothing. I'm still trying to process everything I just saw. There's no way I can explain it right now. Well then, we survived that by the skin of our teeth, but we can take a breather later. Let's get the hell out of here before someone finds out we broke in. Right, let's go. I need to text. It's food time. We're not gonna go someplace weird again, are we? <laughs> It'll be fine, probably. If the demon Tsukiyomi was the one causing time to reverse, then we shouldn't be led to the scene of the fire again. It's going down! I press the button for the first floor and the elevator quietly starts moving. Okay, the elevator reaches the first floor without any issues. Whew, we made it back all right. Come on, you don't have time to be standing around. Let's get going. We're going back to the Black Rabbit. Oh, just outside, I guess, yeah. Whew, we should be safe here. Good job, you two. Oh, I'm exhausted. That's no joke. I want to sleep like a log. <laughs> Because <clears throat> they get the best sleep. What's that face for? Something's bugging me. What exactly was that demon Tsukiyomi we saw? That's an incredibly vague question. 
It was probably a mixture of all the people who died in the fire. I get that, but... The demon Tsukiyomi ritual itself existed way before the fire, right? It's not really related to the fire at all. That's true. So basically you're wondering whether we faced a real demon. Yeah, more or less. We were originally trying to summon the demon Tsukiyomi. And then that thing appeared. First, let's sum up what we know. The arsonist Masaru Ishimaru burned humans alive in an attempt to summon the demon Tsukiyomi. His wish was to revive his late mother. Talk about crazy occult. She's also the late wife of President Ishimaru of the Sumi group. She's still quite dead. <laughs> I confirmed that when I was investigating the Sumi group. In other words, his wish to the demon Tsukiyomi wasn't granted. That we know of. That's what, that's what that would mean, yeah. This is just a theory, but maybe a wish was granted, except it wasn't Ishimaru's. Whose was it? The victims that Ishimaru killed. The voices of the 24 victims would be louder than Ishimaru's. In an extreme situation like that, they would have all been wishing the same thing. I don't want to die. Oh, that's, that's smart. Exactly. In its own warped way, the demon Tsukiyomi granted that wish. Creating the demon Tsukiyomi that we saw, I guess. So the rumor about the demon granted wishes come t was true. Granting wishes was true. Well, if my theory is right, that demon could have also just been a completely unrelated ball of rage. And nobody's wishes were granted during that fire. Which would mean the rumors about the demon Tsukiyomi were false. Even so, believers in the occult would just deny it. They'd claim the value of the sacrifice wasn't high enough or something. In the end, people are going to believe what they want to believe. There's no such thing as a correct answer. Well, it's about time we split up. This ain't a good time for miners to be walking around. I guess I'll head home. Thanks for everything, Oi. That's surprisingly decent coming from you. Have you fallen for me? <laughs> Kinda, I do like you. Looks like the thought doesn't bother you that much. <laughs> By the way, Gavu, how did Ami's examination go? Oh yeah, I never told you. They found some abnormalities in her brain waves, but sh so she's under examination until tomorrow. That's so. I hope Natsumi gets better soon so they can go back to their normal lives. Yeah, me too. If Aunt Natsumi's coma is because of Kakia's curse, then Amiya's got not got n then Ami's not getting her normal life back until I do something about Kakia. All right, I'm heading out. See you guys. See you later. Oh, I disappears in the direction of Shinza Station. I think I'll say my goodbyes here too. My hotel room's right by Shinza Station. You're still not going home, huh? I can't. Not while you could. Not while you could end up getting suddenly cursed again like you did today. Amanome seems completely fine, but I've constantly been causing him trouble for these past few weeks, including what happened to Maruhashi. Oh, Maruhashi. What's the matter? You're staring at me. At first I didn't want him to get involved, but if he hadn't been there to help me, I never would have survived this long. I've really caused you a lot of trouble. I'm sorry. Like I care. It's my job to back you up. You're all brawn and no brains. If I left you alone, you'd be one you'd be the one in trouble. Guess we're in the same boat. You forgetting who saved you when that gang was gonna kidnap kidnap you back in elementary school? Did you forget who introduced you to the underground matches when you needed cash? Then you're forgetting high school when... Man, we could keep this up forever. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I'm gonna get going. See you later. I love the music! Amanome disappears down a bustling street. Now that I think of it, a lot of people have helped me get this far. I gaze up at the night sky for a while, picturing all the people who've helped me. Oh! Close relationship with Ami, so Ami's character file was updated. Because I was nice to her? Hmm. Because I was cl nice to everyone, I guess. <laughs> wow. Guess I'll get going myself. I'm a nice person. <laughs> I go to the station and quickly hop on the last train heading to Kisoji. After arriving at Kisoji Station, which is deserted at this hour, I head to my apartment. I can save, so let's quickly do that. Uh, over this one. 
that was another chapter safely finished. We are really close to the end now. It's just uh, Kakia left, I think. So another hour and a half, maybe two should do it. One or two more episodes. So hopefully I can finish this, wrap this up uh, soon. And then you can, guys can finally see the conclusion to NG. Um, the creators of this game are doing a sort of a Japanese Kickstarter for a third game. So I, I back them for $90. I hope, I hope it reaches it. It's doing pretty well so far. So uh, who knows? Maybe we'll get another one of these games. Maybe like next year or something. Um, but that's it for now. That's this chapter. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And I'll see you soon with another NG. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>